Hello you guys, it's Nightshade Studios here and today I have two packages that I got in the mail so that means it's time for another unboxing video which is exciting so we're gonna start with this one because I'm sure you all know what it is since everyone is getting theirs right now so we're gonna open it up This is like a really small package, but then I think about the size of this horse and I'm like, oh yeah, that's true. It's not that big of a horse. It's like a small traditional scale, but not like pony small, just small traditional, you know, packing slip. Oh, I'm so excited. This is my second horse on the mold. Ah, tape. Guess who? All right. I'm actually, like, I was so excited for this horse. Yes, okay. Yeah, it's Abdul, or however you pronounce his name. I always, I'm disappointed by the collector club horses. But he's cute, I'll give him that much. Like, I like this mold, I think it's cute. Oh my gosh, his face! His face is adorable! Look at that little face! Oh, cute. All right, well, he has a lot of the similar flaws that my model last year had. Um, Yeah, his masking job was kind of crap, like you can see here. Uh, in, a, in quite a few spots, like on his neck, it's a little weird. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but his, his masking sucks, especially around the mane and tail. Like, look at that. That looks remarkably dumb, but he is cute. Just the masking is weird, and his dapples aren't bad. Like, they're pretty cute. You probably can't see them on camera. Yeah, I know. Not really, but um, he is cute. He says Collector Club 2016 on his belly. I was planning on showing him this year because I thought he would make a cute show horse, but with masking like this, I don't think he would place in the show ring, but I'll keep him because I would love to have a complete Congo of this. I only have two on this mold right now, but I really like this mold. I'm a huge Arabian fan, so I will probably try to get the rest of this. His face is cute. Like, he does have a cute face, and the pose is adorable, and I love Arabians. He'd make a good, like, photography horse. Um, this side, his markings are a lot nicer except for on his neck, but on his body, he has really nice markings on the other side. Too bad it's not a show side. <laughs> That's all right though. He's cute. He's got a little like little lip marking under his, That's cute. I love the little, little lip marking. Alrighty, we're gonna move on to the other package. Just, um, I got it on eBay because I saw this for a cheaper price than I was seeing in other places. And there are actually two horses in this box. Um, I was seeing them for like 80 for the set and I thought that was ridiculous. So I found these two for 40 and that was even cheaper than I saw them at the Clarion last year, so I thought I would get them, and just one of them had a very small flaw, so, packing clip. So I thought that would be fine. All right, so the first one is Little. It's, can you guess who this is? Can you guess? Bonus points for you if you guess correctly. 
I don't know what those bonus points will be used for, but hey, bonus points. This is my third on the mold. Um, yeah, I like this mold a lot. Um, I wish there were more horses on it. I have, this will be my second original finish on it, and then, yeah. Who is it? Glossy Heartbreaker. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. His shading. Oh my god. Okay. Get the toilet paper off of your head. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him, his little hooves. Oh, he's cute. He's cute. There you go. There's my little glossy heartbreaker. I've been wanting one of these guys for a while. He's very cute. I'm gonna compare the shading on him versus my other heartbreaker, my matte one, and then I'll be showing one or the other. My um, matte one sh placed in the youth show last year, but um, I like how the gloss makes the coloring pop on the glossy ones, so we'll see. I'll check him over for flaws and whatnot, and maybe he might be showing. All right, and then you can probably guess who the other horse in this box is. Oh, I love newspaper. Um, yeah, I'm sure you know who this is. But another pony, yay! So technically, I got three horses in the mail, but. It's a set, so two boxes. Oh my gosh, like eight layers on this horse. I'm glad you're packed safely. But oh my goodness. Oh, uh, again with the gloss. I just can't handle gloss on horses because it just looks so good makes their colors just look amazing. Burp, 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 burp. Oh, she's beautiful too. Okay, they were saying there's a flaw on her. Like on her side where it looked like she might have like rubbed against a box or something. I'm not seeing it. I, I don't see, I don't see the flaw! I'm not gonna complain, because if I don't see it, I could probably show her. I love Glossy Gigi Valentine, I've been wanting her for so long, I'm so pleased that I got her, because I have been waiting impatiently for this horse. I love Glossy Horses, so. Here's my little set, they're so cute, yay! Yay for Glossy Bonus. I'm so excited. There are my three ponies that I got in the mail today. Yay. I'm excited. Um, I wasn't planning on buying any new horses before breakfast, but um, I couldn't resist. These two were just an awesome deal. I bid on them. And I usually don't like bids because they end up weird and all that fun stuff, but I couldn't resist. I've been wanting these two for so long and I couldn't resist the price, so I just had to pick them up. And then Abdul, I had already put down the deposit, so I might as well just pay the rest of the money. Um, yeah, so good mail day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below what your most recent Briar purchases. Subscribe to this channel for more model horse videos and I will see you next time. Bye!